The Iconoclastic Rustic and the Apropos Acorn. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Reposing neath some spreading trees, a populistic bumpkin amused himself by offering these reflections on a pumpkin. I would not, if the choice were mine, grow things like that upon a vine, for how imposing it would be if pumpkins grew upon a tree. Like other populists, you'll note, of views enthusiastic, he learned by heart and said by rote a creed iconoclastic. And in his dim, uncertain sight, whatever wasn't must be right, from which it follows he had strong convictions that what was was wrong. As thus he sat beneath an oak, an acorn fell abruptly, and smote his nose, whereat he spoke of acorns most corruptly. "'Great Scott!' he cried. "'The Dickens, too, and other authors whom he knew, and having duly mentioned those, he expeditiously arose. Then, though with pain he nearly swooned, he bathed his organ nasal, with anorica, and soothed the wound with extract of witch hazel. And surely we may well excuse the victim if he changed his views. If pumpkins fell from trees like that, he murmured, where would I be at? Of course it's wholly clear to you that when these words he uttered, he proved conclusively he knew which side his bread was buttered. And if this point you may have missed, you'll learn to love this populist, the only one of all his kind with sense enough to change his mind. The Moral In the early spring a pumpkin tree would be a thing, most gratifying to us all, but how about the early fall? End of The Iconoclastic Rustic and the Apropos Acorn